Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, did a little uh, prepping today. I did some just general shopping too, but this is stuff I bought for preparedness. Um, and it all come from Dollar General. This is a Dollar General, or not even a do not a Dollar General, Dollar Tree haul. So uh, let's kind of go over what I did here today and why this is uh, maybe a good idea for you, especially if you're on a budget. This stuff is all stuff you can put away you don't have to buy like i did today i, I kind of went overboard um i was in that mode i was out of a lot of this stuff why not even out but just i wanted to get more put away because the prices of everything are going up because dollar tree is no longer a dollar it's a dollar and a quarter tree but let's start over here on the left um just cotton balls um general purpose you know, you, there's a lot of things you can use cotton balls for, fire starters, you know, you name it. There's 10 million uses for them. The next thing is these. You know, this is a three-pack. I think the wife has two or three of these packed away, probably more than that, actually. But they're just cheap disposable razors. Now, why cheap disposable razors? Same reason she has cheap disposable shaving cream. Because she can stick it away. And actually, like I told her, I go, we can try this, but I want to set it away for like a year and have her open it. Or, you know, pop it open and see how it works. I don't know if the aerosol can will hold value, the, the, the charge. So, and then, oh, throwing stuff out on the ground here. Just rolled gauze. You can make good gauze bandages out of these you can wrap a wound there's countless things you can do with that i bought three of those because that was all they had i usually buy gauze pads with these but they didn't have any in today so just went with the gauze rolls um athletic tape again gauze need something to tape it in place athletic tape dollar and a quarter quick band-aid um another thing muscle rub or pains you know in that situation you may not be able to just get rid of a sore pain or a sore muscle this might create enough comfort so you can get some rest so i bought a couple tubes of that and then same with this you mix match the the muscle rub with pain relief pm you know if you've strained the muscle bad enough you might be able to get some sleep and help recoup that muscle and then just regular pain relievers excuse me 40 capsules capsules so those i get two two of those okay back to this sorry about that I had someone show up when i was in the middle of this ah uh, then i got some uh i got four boxes of ibuprofen 200 milligram great painkiller some people are allergic to this so the reason you have this um Another thing I stock up on is allergy relief. This is just generic Benadryl. Great to have on hand, 36 tablets a bottle. Bee stings, people are allergic to, to things, rashes, whatever. Great thing right there to have. Uh, and then just general use Band-Aids. I got a couple packs. I got these big ones, or the bigger transparent ones for bigger spots um and then i got just that right there and then also because well cleanliness and that kind of situation is next to godliness right here uh, alcohol isopropyl alcohol 70 percent great for uh sanitizing stuff including a wound which if you're sanitizing a wound with that hang on to whoever you're doing it to because it's going to burn like hell um, the other thing I got was hydrogen peroxide. Great for cleaning a wound also. So, uh, and it's great for oral infections. So, I got two jugs of that. Now, you're wondering, why do I have this? This is just general stuff that the wife uses in the bathroom. Same with this. This is just body wash I use. But for preparedness for body wash I get these 
two bars of soap because barred soap will last longer. I didn't know what the I didn't know if barred soap has an expiration date to be honest with you. Oh, excuse me. But that being said, barred soap is great. You can throw a bar of soap in a get home bag or something like that in case you need to wash up a wound or something, just something to get your wound clean, you know. It's not antiseptic. I yo, know, I would but you can still throw it in there just in case. So, and these are cheap. These are $1.25 for two bars. So, it's easy to keep bar soap on hand instead of being the guy that's like, I'm going to make my soap. No, I'll just buy these and have a nice little supply of barred soap. And then everybody can have their own soap bar. So, um, now, if I can find it, there it is. Oh. The receipt. Let's see if everything here is here that I bought on this receipt. Let's just go over it quick. Oh, there's two things on here I know that aren't in here because I got something to drink and so did the wife. So yeah, minus the two drinks, I I would if I if you take the two drinks off here, I would have spent under fifty dollars and. I'm not sure how long this would last. I'm not going to sit here and speculate. But this is $50 of stuff that you can put in a tote. And it's not the greatest medical stuff. But it's better than no medical stuff. There's other medical stuff you should prep. But stuff like this is not a bad thing to have on hand. Especially like the pain relievers and the, the allergy relief stuff. Like, that stuff could be invaluable in an SHTF scenario. So, same with the alcohol and the hydrogen peroxide. So, like, if I had to, like, if I was going in there with 10 bucks, I get two of these, two of these. So, you get 250, 250. So, there's five dollars. And then I would probably get two of these. And then if you could get two uh, or get one of these and like a package of gauze pads and then like a bag of cotton swabs. You know, if you just wanted to take 10 bucks in there and then stick it away. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to spend 50 bucks, $10. And you could have, you know, this, this, say this was the, the cotton swabs or the, the gauze pads. And then you could have... The two bottles of alcohol and then two bottles of the hydrogen peroxide now those things would be great in an shtf scenario and then the next time say you want to go in there five dollars pick up like one of like two of these two of the or like one of the each of these two of these and two of these you know that's like six bucks actually i think so yeah, you'd have two fifty five, and then you'd have seven fifty. So say you just went with one of these, one of these, and one of these. I mean, however you want to mix and match it. But I just wanted to make a, a short video on things that you could do, and not break the bank, and still be able to put stuff away for preparedness because I know times are tough. But this is a, a quick way that you could really set some stuff aside. And like I said, this kind of stuff. In an SHTF scenario, like, I don't know about you, but your wife may want to shave her legs and she may want to feel a little girly still. So having some razors on hand aren't a terrible thing. Um, stuff like that, you know. Having a few creature comforts like that will make the world of difference in morale. Same with feeling clean, you know. A couple bars of soap. And then this, week, this time in, it was pick up a stick of deodorant for her dollar 25 just smelling good you know it's one of those things that it would be a luxury and something that you would enjoy but for a dollar 25 if you can have three four of these in a thing for her and three or four of these things in there the morale around the house is going to be around the, the the compound or wherever you're at is going to be much nicer because everybody's going to stink and they're going to enjoy this so it's little things it's morale based it's not necessarily like 
for the greater good of man based it's just for your your mental state so um with that being said i want to say thank you for everybody that's been watching um if you have any questions please ask them stay prepared and have a great day